Hello customers and welcome to today's guided walkthrough of our 2014 Mercedes-Benz C250. My name's Jesse, I'm a Perth marriage celebrant and spokesperson for car plays here on the corner of Leach Highway and North Lake Road. We hope you enjoy our walkthrough, let's begin. We hope you enjoy. Uh, okay, we're going to start off with the front on view. I'm going to list off the car's key features and then we'll take a bit of a deep dive. We've got 11 airbags, electric seats, parking graphical display assistant, GPS, ABS brakes, central locking, all the other features we've come to know and love about cars, essentially. We hope you enjoy the tour, my friends. Uh, let's get stuck into it. And I want to start off by saying, if you're a Mercedes-Benz fan, you know just how much features are packed inside this vehicle. So if we were to go through every single one of them, the video would probably go for like 35 minutes, right? And we don't want to be doing that. We are going to be covering the main features and looking at this car this walkthrough from a general consumer's point of view okay we hope we do the car justice for you if you are a fan with that being said let's start the tour and i want to start off with presentation the detailing team here at the yard do an absolutely brilliant job and the c class is of no exception okay if you like how it looks now just wait until you buy it they're going to bring the rest of the some bits and pieces up to speed and have a look like a 2021 vehicle Time for us to jump into some features now and I want to take, bring your attention to the two cameras we have up here at the top of the, your windshield. They comprise three safety features. Number one, collision mitigation. The cameras are forever looking forward that you may potentially uh, collide with an obstacle in front of you. If it does sense that that may occur, it's going to raise an alarm for you to be able to become aware, switch on and apply the brake before any potential impact, okay? Secondly, lane departure assistant. Those cameras are picking up the white line on the road that create the lane within which you drive. If it senses that you're edging towards the outside of the line, the technology will push you back into the center of your lane. It's crazy. Lastly, it comprises a part of your cruise control settings. It's called adaptive cruise control, where it maintains the distance between the front of your car and the back of someone else's. If they slow down, you're gonna slow down. If they speed up, you'll speed up to the point that you've set on your cruise control. For example, 70 Ks now, all right? Anyway, that's out of the way, guys. Let's move on. Rain sensing windscreen wipers installed. Lovely little chrome finishes and badges about the front here. Finance really quickly. If you're thinking of financing the car, we offer same day finance approval, which simply means that the finance team get through that finance process really efficiently and quickly. Front parking sensors, we've got four of them along the front here. Your headlights have the daytime running light feature and the automatic feature. They just somehow know when to turn on. And that's pretty much gonna do us for the front, okay, my friends? Let's now take you down the left-hand side of the vehicle and we're gonna introduce your 19-inch alloy rims, all right? Much lighter in weight in comparison to steel. Uh, they hold up really well in wet weather. They, don't, they won't rust or stain. Okay, matching paint job along your side mirrors with an indicator light. We've got a plastic guard beneath, okay? If that was a paint job and anything flicked up on the road, it would damage it, not this plastic guard. All right, chrome finish on the perimeter of your window sill. Tin supplied on the windows, less UV, less sunlight, more security to any valuables you happen to have inside. Chrome door handles, it also comes with the keyless entry feature. As long as the fob is within range, put your thumb over that sensor and it locks and unlocks the car. It's so convenient. If you haven't used it, you're gonna love it. Okay, let's continue down and suss out our back left-hand wheel. We got front and rear independent suspension. Wraparound brake lights brings us to the back of the car. Chrome finishes about the place. Warranty, get the warranty guys. Give yourself that peace of mind and spare yourself any potential headaches you may encounter in your first couple of years of having bought the car. It saved me plenty. Okay, time now for us to jump inside. Cool, well first up, check out the space that you have. There's plenty of it for your groceries, your knickknacks and, and whatever you are casting around. We've got some extra storage to the left and right hand sides here. It looks like this net here needs to be uh, just fixed up, reattached there somehow, so be mindful of that. Make sure the salespeople um, fix that up before you take it for a test drive. If you lift up the floor, you've got a cargo, um, what do you call this, basket. You've got a cargo net to strap down any loose cargo, stop it from rolling around. And then beneath there are just some number plate covers, nothing special really. Okay, this button here, there you go, it took a second. 
closes automatically for you. We also have, there's a reverse camera there as well, guys. I forgot to point that out. And we have six parking sensors along the back. Okay, push open fuel cap here, diesel fuel, and something blue there. Let's suss out our back right hand wheel. And when we're, when we're ready, we'll jump up inside and show off the interior. Partial leather, nice sound system speaker, power windows. Let's jump inside the car. We have a complete leather interior, an armrest in the center. You can press a button there and that, that flap will lift up and it's, you've got storage. Storage on the back of the passenger and driver's seats. And I'm not too sure why it's not hugging the back of the seat. It does happen to fall forward. So something else that I encourage you to follow up with your salesperson about and have that fixed up. Carpet floor mats along the floor. You can see the previous number plates from, uh, what was it, Queensland. We're getting, getting them swapped over. And we'll leave it at that and jump into the front. Partial leather interior. Here are your, your electric seat adjustments, okay? It's in the door, it's not by your side. So you actually see what you're doing here. Um, continuing down, power windows, side mirror adjustments, and that'll do us. Okay, jumping inside the car, we'll start on your right hand side. This is just your light controls here. This P off button is to turn all your parking sensors off if the beeping's driving you insane. This is your lane departure assistant to turn that on and off. And this here is your heated steering wheel. So literally, your steering wheel is gonna warm up. Okay, push start engine as well. No more turning a key around, now you just press a button. Up to your steering wheel, leather bound, power steering, multifunction, phone, volume, and station controls on this side. And then what, menu controls, more voice controls as well on the left hand side. The right hand uh, wheel stick is where you go about changing from park, reverse, neutral, and drive, okay? It's no longer in the sensor. Now it's up here on the wheel stick. And that'll do us for the wheel. Let's now take you to the center, the central features. You've got sound system speaker smack bang in the center, your multimedia system, hook your phone up into that and uh, access all the compatible apps. Think maps, music streaming services, of course, your phone and text messaging. Pollen filter inside your air conditioning vents. That'll filter out all the COVID in the air. Okay, your air conditioning controls. The temperature can be different for passenger and driver, and you've also got a max air con button as well. So if you're parked in the sun all day, press this and your car will cool down in a matter of minutes. CD player, all the uh, buttons we've come to know and love, right? Two drink holders, a 12 volt power supply, bit of storage here. Okay, this bad boy, is to navigate through your multimedia system. It's kind of like a PlayStation controller. And when you come and take this thing for a test drive, you're gonna have a lot of fun uh, playing around with this, if, if of course you're not familiar with it. If you do know what it's about, then you know what it's about. All right, how's your volume control? Up and down by just scrolling that. Okay, this button here is your idle off feature. So your engine is gonna cut out when it's sitting still at the traffic lights or when it's sitting still anywhere in order to save your fuel. If you don't like that feature, just turn it off by pressing that button. Okay, armrests in the center here, leather, press this button, they flip up and you've got your central storage. Before we finish off guys, I do wanna point out one final safety feature. Notice the mechanisms up in the top left and right hand corners of your bonnet. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and close this down, continue explaining this. When the Mercedes feels a, an impact from the front of the vehicle, that mechanism will lift up your bonnet here, lessening the um, uh, damage or impact on whatever you've bumped into here at the front, and of course protecting your windscreen as well. So just another thing packed inside the Mercedes-Benz that, that makes it a, a, more of a standout vehicle than just the basic ones on the market. Guys, we hope you enjoyed the tour. I hope I did you justice if you're a Mercedes-Benz fan. If there's any other questions you have about the car, book in a consultation and ask the salespeople because they're the experts about these cars. I'm just the spokesperson and I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found this video informative, most importantly. Three things to tell you as we wrap up. I, same day finance approval, don't forget that. Consider the warranty if you think this car might be for you. And also, book in a test drive. If you liked what you saw, book in a test drive, take it down Leech Highway and back, see how you feel afterwards. Thanks so much for watching guys. Have a great day.
and we'll hear from you soon.